Oh, it's I, Jerry Nadler. A lie detector? Well, I've been in politics forever. I couldn't possibly fail. Do you disavow the violence from Antifa? That's happening in Portland right now? There's that's, riots that's, and... that's a myth that's being spread in D.C. All of it began the first time some of you who know better and are old enough to know better let young people think that they had the right to choose the laws they would obey as long as they were doing it in the name of social protest. I, I, I want to be clear in how I characterize this. Behind me is one of Mostly multiple locations uh, that have been burning in Kenosha, uh, Wisconsin. Get back! You? Oh, what? And I'm all for protest, but you can't be you can't be destroying your neighbors' houses and businesses. Ooh. Shoot him. Oh, shot him. Okay, everybody, we're going to try something a little bit different. I'm Boomer, your host, of course. Tonto is not currently in studio with me at the moment. And I wanted to bring up... There's so much that happens every week. I wanted to bring up the Kenosha shootings. Um... I say shootings because we've got several incidents that have occurred. Uh, this all began with um, Blake. Uh, what is it? Jacob Blake got shot. And it's now confirmed that Jacob Blake was running for a knife and was told to drop a knife before he was shot by local uh, Wisconsin police, Kenosha police. And uh, riots have occurred since that time. But I found a really good timeline of the shootings that occurred during those riots so this is one of the best threads i've seen so far on what's happened as far as the shooting with uh with kyle there uh kyle rittenhouse and uh they compiled this this is through a lot of sources and there's attribution at the end here this is obviously off of twitter with uh christian uh tribert i apologize christian if i get your last name wrong there and we're just going to go through it, and I'll interlace uh, the videos that they've got listed here uh, to give you guys some context on what they're trying to communicate. So let's go through it together. We have a teenager. He was charged in shootings that left at least two people dead. I, I might have said three people. So three people were shot. Two were dead. Uh, the New York Times, their visual investigations team reviewed hours, and they put this together for us. So in the hours before the shooting... Uh, Christian Harris, I'm sorry, Kristen Harris, uh, Richie McGinnis, and Elijah Schaefer, these are streamers on the ground, all interviewed Rittenhouse, who said he was protecting the local vehicle dealership together with several other armed men. He also offers medical assistance to protesters, so he has some training, and uh, it looks like if you look into Rittenhouse's past, he was a gun advocate for sure. He, um, has done kind of the equivalent of scouts for policing. Um, the kid believes in law and order. That's pretty evident. And uh, he obviously wants to help people. He went and got some CPR and medical training. And he's out there for what he believes is his cause. Now he's 17. We'll just throw that out there. He is young. So around the area... He's around in the area that most of the footage that they reviewed. About 15 minutes before the first shooting, police drive past Rittenhouse, and they think the group, thank the group that he's with. And they say, we appreciate you guys. We really do. And they do this over their uh, speakers of the armored vehicles. Rittenhouse walks up to the vehicle with his rifle slung. He talks with them. They share water. The police have come out after this and said that they share water to anybody. Um... It's, it's not specific because there's some accusations that Rittenhouse was working with the officers uh, 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 because of what happened at the end of this. But uh, we'll get there in just a second. So he eventually leaves this dealership. And, and this is where I personally, when I was watching this the other night, couldn't locate him. We had no idea where what was going on, where he was. They leave the dealership and they're told by the police don't come back to this dealership. Uh, and that's about six minutes before the shooting. So to better understand what happened next, they put six live streams together to uh, to see all this going on. 
So Rittenhouse is seen in this stream is being chased into a parking lot. Um, the guy who's chasing him on the first, he is actually um, in earlier videos in which he's very, very, very aggressive. Uh, I don't know how to say that enough. He's walking in people's faces saying, shoot me. Um, he's very super aggressive. We're going to get into who these people are in just a second. So he's chasing Kyle through this parking lot. Kyle comes around. He almost gets Kyle, and then Kyle, uh, which is right here, shoots him. He, he kind of jukes around this car and blasts the guy. Now, if you see right here, even as this plays, uh, if I can keep it going for you, he pulls out a cell phone, and he's trying to contact somebody, uh, potentially to call in aid. But here, what's going on is that the crowd is going, get the hell out of here, man, get the hell out of here. So he's fleeing keep in mind 17 years old hasn't ever shot a person before okay he has no as far as i've researched has no record at this time so he's freaking out he's in the middle of an angry mob he is alone so he is like it's time to book it i'm getting out of here so they're not sure why he was first being chased uh, or why he was in the area of this car dealership. It was about four blocks away from the one that they were supposed to be protecting and were told to leave. Uh, they know vehicles in this lot were damaged. This is a person obviously doing it. And then um, there's some discussion. It's Rittenhouse is not the only one who fired. We don't know if the shots were at him or unrelated. We don't know. So anyway, he's fleeing the scene. And uh, let's see if I can get this uh, backed up here. So he's fleeing the scene here, and he's about to get assaulted by everybody else here. This guy shoves at him, doesn't get him. We hear at least eight gunshots after he's defended himself. It is not the same caliber. The reports are different. So we don't know who was shooting. It's quite possible it was more of his group because as the video plays on, he actually is running down towards both the police and there are other armed militia down here. So they might have been firing like suppressive fire, not at people, not actually suppressing uh, people with, with fire at them, but like into the ground to keep them back because the mob would start advancing as soon as gunfire had stopped. So um, you also can see there's another guy who runs towards Kyle and passed him, and I don't think it's an officer, but it's a big dude with a gun anyway. So, police are just a block away. Well, let's back this guy up. Oh, here he is. He's running. He runs towards the police. He, he raises his hand. Now, they know a shooting has happened. They possibly know he was involved, but they're going to secure the scene here. They pass him up. Okay. Now, that, that siren, by the way, is local. So uh, I am not anywhere near this, just to let you guys know. He does lean into this vehicle that's about to pass him and tries to talk to them. It's possible that they didn't realize his depth of involvement of what's going on. Because they leave him. He doesn't get arrested here, okay? Um, let's see. Social media profile. He's, got, he's pro-police, which we acknowledged earlier. They're still looking into it, of course, and I wanted to pause right here because um, if you go to Christian's timeline here, uh, you can come here. You can look at the whole New York Times story, and I definitely want to acknowledge all the people who put this material together. Um, when I feature clips, I try to acknowledge them in my comments as well because it's not about like pretending I did this. I'm obviously not I'm not out there filming this kind of stuff. Okay, so let's cover over these heroes real quick. This guy, super aggressive in the videos. Mr. Rosenbaum, 36. He's chasing the, the teen at the first, and he's the one who gets shot first. Registered sex offender for sex crimes involving a minor. Oh, great for you. Here's our second one. Anthony Huber, 26. He was the one who hit him with a uh, with a skateboard here. 
aiming for his head. He gets shot in the chest, and he goes down. And I'm not sure what Kyle was using as far as a caliber, but it was pretty powerful. It takes off, and it nearly takes off this guy's arm. Uh, not Huber, but the next guy that gets shot. He's got a criminal history, battery, domestic abuse. Here's our final. This guy, he did not die. Good old Gage. He's a member of the People's Revolution Movement. And he was filmed chasing after the teen with a pistol. He's the final one who pulls that pistol in the earlier shot. He shot at close range in the upper arm. And uh, he has a criminal record, including uh, being armed here. There we go. This is probably the least gory shot of this because you don't get the depth of the amount of uh, damage going on right because they it just took a massive hunk out of this guy's arm. So from this angle, this doesn't look nearly as bad as it is. Obviously, like Kyle wasn't defending himself. So anyway, I wasn't sure how to approach this and I wanted to give you guys the best kind of roundabout view of this one incident that kind of sparked a whole hell of a lot. This was a straw that broke the camel's back and uh, happened two days ago. So last night when we were watching this, it was super boring. Nothing happening. Not that I'm saying this stuff, this kind of excitement's good, but I mean very little happened in Kenosha last night. It was cleared out. You had a ton of cops. Cops in Portland and in uh, Wisconsin arresting a lot of organizers. They arrested the food truck in Portland. They did so much. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. I'll probably get in touch with, uh, with Tonto, and we'll talk about this stuff together. But I really wanted to kind of compile this so you guys had a good grasp of at least the generalities of what's going on here.